50% of the corn samples I've seen taken at Tassel are deficient in potassium. And the soil test says we've got plenty, so what's going on? Obviously, we're not getting the nutrients out of the soil and into the crop like we should. Only Plant roots only occupy about 2% of the soil volume. Mycorrhizal inoculated roots with their hyphae can occupy about 20% of the soil volume. That's 10 times more absorptive capacity to get the nutrients out of the soil and into the plant where it does us some good on yield. And if we can get more yield with the same amount of fertilizer, that's a lot more profitable, that's a lot more environmentally sound. Mycorrhizal fungi are tiny absorptive threads in the soil and they're attached to the roots of the plants. And they grow out from the plant roots and they're forage in the soil for moisture and nutrients. So to get them established on a crop, we have to use the spores, which are the seeds of the mycorrhizal fungi. Culture is getting back to its roots and rediscovering the living soil. Key members of this living soil are mycorrhizal fungi. Unfortunately, certain farm practices over time have reduced or eliminated mycorrhizal fungi from agricultural soils. So how do you return them after they have been lost? Well, the seeds of these fungi, called spores, are placed near roots. And active roots cause the spores to germinate and penetrate into the root system. Mycorrhizae form structures where both the plant and the beneficial fungus can exchange food and energy. These mycorrhizal filaments radiate out into the surrounding soil and form an elaborate web of tiny absorbent threads. These access nutrients and water that are tightly held onto soil particles. The fungus transports nutrients and water back to the plant to fuel its growth. And like a cotton ball, this extension of mycorrhizal threads efficiently absorbs fertilizer. This reduces nutrient loss and pollution of groundwater, lakes, and stream. The improved efficiency that I see when mycorrhiza is used is something I wish I had years ago when we were farming. When, when times are really tough, when water is short, when fertilizer costs are soaring, when your commodity prices are, are making it impossible to farm, this is the advantage I wish I had. Today's science is, is such that it has brought us a wonderful product that you can count on being shelf stable, that it is usable, user friendly, and one that I know works because of my first hand experiences with it.